Hey guys, my name is Ryan Central and Mara has been severely underestimated. Going into Borderlands 3, I think she has some amazing hidden potential that nobody else has really had the chance to highlight. In this video, I'll be talking about my own experience, but of course, what Gearbox devs said about Amara telling us exactly the areas that she could be brokenly overpowered. In a good way though. This video came from all of the who are you going to play polls that Randy Pitchford, other devs and just everyone has been putting out on Twitter. Twitter, YouTube, the like. I'm pretty sure that every single one of these polls has Amara down as the least popular option. And there are a few common reasons that come up to being the reason. She can only use one ability at a time, unlike Zane who could use two at once, Moas has all of the variations with her guns, and of course Flack has pets. She's a melee character and some players don't really like that. Her skill trees don't seem as interesting looking into them as other Vault Hunters. She's a Siren and some people don't like playing Siren. The list goes on, just sort of minor stuff like that. However, if that's you that's pawning off Amara for another Vault Hunter, then this is definitely going to be the video for you. Even if you're set on another VH, I want to make sure that that decision isn't going to be easy. So I spoke to Gearbox producer slash lead dev Chris Brock a number of times last week at Gamescom. He knew one of my missions was to make this video and give some big insight on Amara, where we don't have much information. I had an interview with him fairly early on at Gamescom, and this is what he thinks of Amara. Amara is probably getting, I guess, slept on a little bit. There's, uh, I, I think, you, like I, you mentioned, that we were talking a little bit before this, and you mentioned that you know uh, her skills, like that you can miss them, you know, seems like a big deal, right? And that's, you know, that's true. But her uh, her cooldowns are quite a bit shorter than uh, everybody else's. My favorite thing about Amara is honestly probably the Brawl tree. Uh, it's the uh, it's the like the least siren like tree we've ever had. She's got a lot of abilities where she'll have more health regeneration or damage as you close distance, like depending on the distance from the enemy. Uh, and, you know, activating skills, um, giving you damage buffs and stuff like that. Oh, sorry, uh, damage uh, armor buffs. You, know, you take less damage. Uh, there's still a lot of the traditional stuff like if you really want to have like a crowd control style uh, siren you can still do that uh, and it should feel very familiar to Borderlands players uh, it, likewise if you want to do the more elemental kind of focus thing you can still do that but the brawl tree is really kind of where I like to play because like I like a shotgun build with her where like you like just try to get it and close the distance as fast as possible she's got a bunch of movement speed stuff that you could do also in that tree honestly I think kind of all all three of her trees are probably getting a little underrepresented because the they are not as like splashy and, and new as some of the other characters. Like you know, Moses got like a mech, right? Flax got pets, right? And Zane, you can like swap out a grenade and you know uh, for another action skill. So you got two at a time, and there's like a lot of like uh, kind of like give and take there. Amara is really versatile. She's really just good. I mean, like just because her abilities. Okay, she's got a. Uh, she's got. Um, I can't remember which tree it is, but the very last, the capstone skill at the very end is like, you can just do your action skill twice, like in a row, right? Like, she's got a lot of stuff that it sounds simple, but it's actually just very powerful. I do want to deep dive into Amara's skill trees a little bit more. After playing all three of them, talk about where they're good, where they're bad. I also did want to do one of those ability variation videos like I've done with Moe's and Amara. Haven't got the gameplay yet, so we'll have to wait until very soon to do that. But first, I did want to go over the general playstyles that you can get with each of her skill trees as it relates to something important that Chris says in a second. The first skill tree is Brawl. This is Amara's close quarters melee shotgun build. It's fairly straightforward, but it's a lot of fun when you get everything synergizing together. You then have Mystical Assault, which has a lot of focus on your ability and the passive called Rush. Two talents specifically, when you kill an enemy or apply an elemental effect, gives you a stack of Rush, which increases your ability damage, so when you use that, it will hit very hard, harder than some of the other abilities full stop. Not to mention that you have your action skill off on a shorter cooldown, meaning that you can use this quite a lot. And finally, Fist of the Elements has a way of increasing both your weapon and element damage. Like I said, more detail later. But the reason why I say that now is because it definitely seems that Amara leans towards a melee class, and when you look at each of the skill trees, there's very much a set focus on them, making it seem that Amara really isn't that dynamic as a character. There's only three major ways to play her. However, Chris says that she's the most versatile Vault Hunter out of all of them. She's she's pretty good at everything. Like, she's extremely versatile, right? Uh, other characters might be able to min-max a little bit more, but she's very versatile and can do a lot of different things. 
Did you ever play Mario 2? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I kind of refer to her as our Mario, right? Okay. Like Luigi could jump the highest, Peach could jump the farthest, Toad was strong, but Mario was like second best at everything, right? That's really valuable when you're, you know, trying to, you know, do a bunch of, like if you want to like play solo or play co-op and like switch your spec all the time, like she's like actually really good at both. She so. can fill those sort of voids that you have in just general play style. If you're in a group that you can play a bit more CC, you can mm -hmm. play just Brawly. You can play CC at distance with the kind of traditional elemental kind of siren uh, focus. Uh, or the one I like is the brawler tree. It's mm -hmm. just like just I like to I think I was telling you earlier Like I either like to sit back and snipe mm -hmm. or like run at them like a madman with a shotgun And like the middle ground is not really for me for sure. Do I agree with Chris that Amara is versatile? It's like that well yes, but actually no meme I don't think Amara is versatile in the sense that you might be thinking of one size fits all She can work doing anything. In fact, I think Amara is the easiest vault hunter to mess up with her build. If you put points in the wrong area, like I did multiple times playing through last week, you immediately see that impact and go, oh, I made a mistake. Amara's major strengths, and in my opinion her hidden potential, is in the sense that she's almost like a chameleon with how she can build herself around class mods, weapons and artifacts. That's where I think Chris meant that she was versatile. I think one of the better words to describe her is flexible, and she's also one of the more complicated, in-depth fault hunters that you will play, but that also makes playing her incredibly varied, fun, and in a sense rewarding. Comparing that to Botanist Mags Mose, which there's nothing wrong with if you want to play that, it's just that it's a fairly decisive playstyle. Botanist Mags Mose does exactly what it says on the tin, right? It's that you don't ever want to reload and do as much gun damage as possible. So in a build surrounding that, you want a gun like the Butcher, that has a chance to not use ammo. It's very straightforward. But for Amara, you can pick up the Butcher shotgun and make a specific build around it. You can do it with the Lyuga as a sniper. In fact, I really think you can make an incredibly strong Amara build around anything really. But I'd say that her problem at the moment is because nobody can play her and realistically nobody's seen her at endgame, it's very difficult for people to gauge that hidden potential that Amara has. All you can do is look at the skill tree and go, that looks alright. Flat looks better though. Not to mention that we do have some level 50 gameplay on Amara from Baru using a couple of seconds of gameplay and it looks ridiculous and this is a specific melee build. Imagine what else that you could do with her. For those that missed it, I did a video last week talking about clever changes that have come in for Borderlands 3. It talks a lot about the skill trees and a multitude of reasons there. The first is that there's no skill trees or talents that increase specific weapon damage like an assault rifle or a sniper. You still get class mods or artifacts that do increase manufacture damage or weapon type ammo as an example, but you don't get forced to build around a certain weapon type if you're playing any of the Vault Hunters. Not to mention that there's not much of a necessity to go for the capstones, the bottom tier talents, for anyone. All of the capstones are incredibly good, but you can make like hybrid builds between each of the skill trees that a character has. And those kind of smart changes that came in from Gearbox complement Amara the most. She is the embodiment of how far Borderlands 3 has come along with the skill trees. And whilst it's not the most exciting, I certainly understand that from looking at it, playing it is a whole different story. But just to recap, the hidden potential is the major flexibility that Amara has in a multitude of areas. The elements that your abilities can use, you can change them from electric, fire or corrosive, all of which being strong in various situations against various enemies. You're not reliant on a specific gun type. Whilst Maluan shotguns, elemental shotguns are going to be really good for Amara, you're not over reliant on them. You can definitely still make a shot you can definitely still make a sniper work if you wanted to. You can be flexible around your ability and how much you want to focus on it, how much damage it does, how often it's off cooldown, the CC capabilities or all of the above that I've just mentioned. And of course, one of the major areas, her general playstyle. For this reason, I think that Amara is probably going to be the first Vault Hunter that I play. And if you're new to the Borderlands 3 franchise, she's going to be perfect for you. She's going to be a great character when you get a legendary, like a random SMG. I don't know, like a Tog SMG. I don't even think you can have a Tog SMG, but you get the point. For some of the other Vault Hunters, you might go, oh, this isn't really good for my build. For Amara, it's a case of, oh, amazing, I'm good to play around this and make a build that just complements this completely. And it's so much easier to do that on Amara than anybody else. Like Chris said, comparing her to Mario, she's not amazing in one specific area, but she's very good across all of them. And especially when we don't know what the best weapons are in a game, how to farm them, who you need to kill over and over again, it's a great way of just experimenting and making builds. Every amazing bit of kit that you get, that might not work for other Vault Hunters, you'll be able to incorporate into Amara in any single way. 
Of course there's a pretty obvious downside as it's a double edged sword. You're watching the Fist of the Element gameplay in the background, you might have been for quite some time. The Proving Grounds mode that we played at Gamescom was pre-built with certain builds in mind from the devs, certain guns and artifacts with no real way to change them. For Amara it definitely complemented her brawl style with the shotgun and all alike. But for Mystical Assault and Fist of the Elements, there wasn't much synergy, it was fine, but it certainly wasn't as strong as running Brawl in the Proving Grounds with the build that was made for us. The point that I'm trying to make is if you don't have the right guns or the right class mods or the right artifacts and you're trying to run a specific build, it's going to feel fairly flat. It's still fine, but heroes like Zayn and Moe's can make it work a lot more. There's a bit more room for error on those Vault Hunters in comparison to Amara. When your build and your guns and your class mods aren't complementing each other, it can feel very mediocre. So to begin with, you might not feel like you're doing a lot on Amara, but once you get those synergies to work, she's probably going to be one of the most powerful and definitely one of the most rewarding. So hopefully I've educated you on where Amara might be really good. Thanks for watching till the end of this video, hope you enjoyed it. Do like and subscribe for more Borderlands content, especially going into launch. It would mean a huge amount. I know I do YouTube in other places, but this is still just a small channel, so any support there would be greatly appreciated. Tell your friends all that stuff. Thanks again for watching, take care, see you soon.